Hey you guys, it's Alex here and today I've got another After Effects tutorial for you and today I'm going to be going over probably one of the most requested effects in my Baker edit and that was the uh, transition and it's going to be called the Gun Morph Transition and basically what happens is, well actually I'll show you a preview first and then I'll explain what happens so after the shot there'll be a transition to the next clip that looks really nice so here we go Just, uh, so I'll try and pause it sort of in the middle. So as you can see, the background moves behind it with motion blur, it looks really nice. And the two and the intervention morphs into the um M4A3 and it looks really nice. So yeah, we shall get into it. Now it's gonna be quite a confusing tutorial, but we will uh, hopefully get through it. So we're going to After Effects and we've got I've already, I'm going to use the same clips, I've both already imported them. I'm just going to drag them into their own compositions. This just makes it easier if you need to ever go back and uh, change anything. And then I'm going to make a new composition. Now I'll probably just make this uh, about 10. Uh, I'll make it 10 seconds for this purpose, 12 by 720. And we're just going to call it, I'll just call this main, so you would have want to have this in your main composition with everything synced up and all that. I'm just going to drag these in. And I'm just going to quickly do some adjustments. And um, I'm trying to think what to do actually. What we'll do is I will split it on the shot, which is there. Oh, God. Um, yeah. Um, that was Camtasia, so we'll just go edit split layer and we'll drag this over like that. And I'm just gonna add some twigs to that. Oh, not typing. Jibs. Stop or actually hold up. Sorry about this guys. I think I think that yeah, wrong frame right. My bad. <clears throat> and we'll just change this to 59.94. That's because I was uh, working with an intro the other day, so yeah, um, we'll just go here. The score's the biggest. Here, 100, couple frames. And you want to have it on a really low speed just because we're going to be masking and you're going to want to have it like that so we can, so there's not a lot of movement. And we will do that. Then we will just go forward in this clip and we want to find where it's just about to zoom in so here we we'll us add Twixter uh, fix the frame rate and now on this one I hate this keyboard so much uh, anyway uh, we'll keep frame at 100 go for water frame we'll set it at 2 also and we'll just go forward um, we'll go forward 50 frames we can do this by hitting shift and page down so one two three four five like so and then we will hit U set another keyframe at two hold a couple of frames and back up to one hundred and I'm just gonna go there trim that down and now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have that twixt for a bit and then we're just gonna I'm gonna set a marker here <clears throat> and I'm gonna go forward fifty frames so hit shift and page down five times Like so, drag another marker. So this is where our transition is going to be happening. I'm going to just trim that down, and I'm going to line that up with marker one, like so. And I'm just going to drag this to the top. So now what we have is oh, we have a shot, twixter, and then we have a twixted, and then back into the next clip. So what we can first of all do is I'm just going to um, I'm actually going to split this layer here. <coughs> Excuse me, in my throat. It's already quite bad there, actually. Um, so we split it there, so then that's just the hundred percent. But and we got that point where we're going to want to do all our masking. Now I'm also going to then dupe. Um, we're going to then duplicate this, and we're going to split this bottom one. So basically, you want to have two layers of each, and then when you want to have, so we'll bring that one. So uh, this probably looks a bit confusing. But basically, so this one, it, so we got our just our twisted. So this is where you want to look where the transitions are happening here. So we've got one intervention there, 
we've got one M4A3 layer and we've got one background layer so we that can go under like so so these are our two so you need to have essentially four layers where the transition is happening so you've got your two BG layers and you've got your two ones that we're going to eventually mask so first of all we'll just sort out the transitions we've got a layer new adjustment layer we can call this off Set. I'm just going to use a basic offset transition because I thought that looked pretty cool. To type in offset, drag that on, go to the start, and these all on. Right, hold up. And the way I'm taking off my headphones quickly. All right. Um. So we are going to then drag this offset uh, layer below like so and i didn't mean to do that one sorry it's quite early in the morning <laughs> i just got up a bit ago all right so so we have our offset layer above our two background layers and we can drag on offset which i've already done which can keep keyframe the shift center to at uh there and then we can just go i want it to go up so i can click on this value i can hit the star then five times it by five so it's essentially going to move up five and now if I was to unhide these, um, you'll be able to see that the background is moving like that. And then we're going to want to hit the opacity, make the opacity of the top BG layer at 100. And then at the start keyframe at zero. So we just get a simple fade transition. Very simple. Then we can also hit U on our offset. Uh, make sure the shift center two is highlighted. Go into our graph editor. And we can ease this one, ease this one out, and then ease this one in. We can just drag these in slightly. Just going to give us a lot nicer. So what will happen is it will go slow, speed up, and then slow like that. And I'll just trim this layer down. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now we can get into the more exciting morphing part. First of all, we've got some boring masking, unfortunately. So first of all, I'm just going to solo our top layer, uh, our top intervention layer, so our first clip. And you're going to want to do a, you want to go to the start, and you want to go up the transition, you want to just do a rough mask, or you want to do a really good mask, so the better it is, the better the uh, transition will look. But obviously, I can't be bothered. But yeah, so make it, make it look really nice. Just go out and then we're going to do, then we're going to solo our top layer and we're going to go to the end. So our second clip and we're just going to mask around this also. Yeah, this is pouring stuff. Oh, me. Yeah, I did that as quickly as I can because there's no point in wasting any time. But obviously you want to make your masks look really nice. And yeah, okay. Okay, um, okay, so now we have those two masks. What we're going to want to now do is, um, we're going to, <coughs> excuse me. All right, first of all, what we're going to want to do is we want to hit M on both of them so we can see our masks. I'm just going to unsolo these for now. And what we can then do is we're going to want to copy our second clip mask. So we'll hit Control C and we're going to paste it onto our first clip. But then we're going to want to make add none so it's not affecting our clip, it's just there as a guide. And we want to click copy mask one from our first clip to our second clip and set it to none also. Then what we can then do is we can type in an effect called reshape and we can drag that onto our intervention there. Actually, oh, sorry, stupid me. All right, um, copy your mark. Co I'm just going to cut the masks, and I'm going to first of all layer, pre-compose it because you can't actually mask on Twig. So I'm going to move all attributes into a new composition. Just trim this back down. Sorry, I completely forgot about that. And we'll just Control V the masks again, and they should be both there. We we'll do the same with this one quickly. Okay, my bad. Anyway, all right. So now we've got. Now we can. Now we can drag on reshape. 
So now our mask mask will be affecting the uh, gun, as you can see there. Like so. Okay. So now we got reshape. And what we can do is we can create make our source mask mask one. So that's the original intervention mask. And we can make the destination mask mask two, which is our temporary three mask. And we can go right to the start and we can keyframe the percent at zero, go all the way up to 100. And we can drag reshape onto our top layer. I'm just going to actually lower the quality because it can take some time to render at first. And we're going to do the same to so make the mask one, mask two. But this time we're going to keyframe the percent at zero at the end and make, the, and make it 100 at the start. So now we should get some sort of morphing like so. But now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hit T and we want to fade in our top there like this up to 100 and then you should get some sort of fading. So I'll just maybe let me just round preview this, see what we're getting. Not today. Trying to record a tutorial. Anyway, so we get this nice sort of fade. It looks really nice. So, yeah. as you can see, we get this sort of fade. It, now it doesn't look that good. But what we can then go and do is we can change the um, this option to any of these. I used super fluid. I thought that looked quite cool. And we can also change this to smooth, which gives us a smoother transition. Obviously you can pick any one. Now this now because we changed it, it usually takes a hell of a long time to render at first because it just needs to work everything out, but it really looks like it's alright. So and this will just look a bit better. And then what I also did was I actually um just colorize these two layers slightly just to make them blend out to come out from the background because at the moment they look very similar to the background so i just you know took them but that's it's very simple it basically is just you can put a hue and saturation curves anything um i'll probably do it in a second so we get a excuse me you know, so we get a nice um, transition here but obviously if your mask is looking really good then you won't get this it will look a little better. So yeah, that is basically the transition. Um, I'll just show you how I colorize it. So we can type in hue and saturation, drag that onto uh, we'll do the top layer. Um, we will keyframe color range. Yeah, go forward ten frames. Um, sorry, I probably should have done it the other way around. Actually, sorry, I just deleted that. And do it on the bottom layer because that's actually got the opacity and full. And my keyframe color range. This is just an extra little thing, and we can just move this around. And obviously, I used like an orange in my edit, but obviously, well, we'll just go something like a green like that. I don't know. Then we can go back 10 frames, you keyframe. And go and put that back to zero. Okay, let me can copy this, paste, unsolo, and now you should get something a bit nicer. And then you can add motion blur, and then that will make the background look really nice. Also, so just by colorizing it slightly, obviously not those colors. I just did it so you can actually see, you know, the difference it makes. And then with your color correction, that should look really nice. So that is the tutorial, guys. Uh, just one more time. So that's how I did my morphing transition. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't seen my Baker edit yet, please go check it out. And I will be starting. Um, so this is probably going to go up on the same day as I'm recording this. So the 14th Sunday um, for the next... Um, for now, I'm going to be starting on a new edit, and I'm going to be doing my making uh, an episode series. I did a uh, video on that somewhere. Yeah, I just did. I, I you know, I asked 
if more people want to see it and it sounds like people do so yeah we will be doing that as well so stay tuned for that uh leave a like and if you found this helpful as this was one of the most requested tutorials and i thought it would sound it looked pretty good so yeah that is the tutorial that is the morphing gun morphing transition and i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys